Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I hope that you have a few minutes to share with me this morning. I hope you have a few minutes to watch and share with me this morning. I have some encouragement that I want to bring you, but not only do I have encouragement that I want to bring you, for those of you that don't know me, I am P.S., Pastor Shauna, and I hope that you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. As you come on, let me know that you can hear me. Let me know that you can hear me, or perhaps you can't hear me, but let me know. But as you come on, let me know where you're in from. Just give me a great big good morning, good morning. It is two, uh, Tuesday morning, or is it Wednesday morning? But give me a great big good morning, and I want to share with you and put some fire in your bones this morning. I want to put some fire in your bones this morning in the form of a Holy Ghost mandate. And I want to share with you what the Lord has been sharing with me over the last couple of days. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Maya. Good morning. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Listen, tag somebody. Share this. Share this. This is a mandate for women. First thing I want to do is to share with you this book. A lot of you are familiar with this book. You're familiar with this amazing author and woman of God, Lisa Bevere. And what I want to focus on, of course, is the woman of God who brought the book. But the name of the book is Girls with Swords. This morning, I want to share with you a little bit in regards to, remember, as you come on, just tell me that you're on. Give me a great big wave. And I want to just share for five or ten minutes with you. I want to remind you this morning, and for some of you, this isn't a reminder. For some of you, this is you. This is your first time really hearing it and understanding that you are meant to be a superhero. Today we are, um, we live in a, in a culture today where every um, movie, every other movie, everything that we, um, that we see is all about superheroes. It's all about Marvel. It's all about, um, you know, Spider-Man and, and Wonder Woman and, and all of these different superheroes. But I want to tell you today that I believe that believers women, um, the women that I'm speaking to on this live, and maybe there are some men on as well, I want to remind you and tell you as you come on today that I believe that we are the true superheroes. And you're probably thinking, what is this woman talking about? Some of you don't know me well. Hi, Shancy. How are you? I'm glad you're on. Hi, Donna. Jen, how are you, daughter? I love you so much. I want to put some fire in your bones this morning. And I want to just drop this in your spirit. You are a woman with a sword. You're a woman with a sword. This book, this, this live isn't about this book, but this live is about you. It's about a woman called Jael. If you ever heard of Jael in the Bible, in the book of Judges, you heard about the prophetess Deborah, because the prophetess Deborah is the, was the woman who sent the man of God out into, um, out into battle and told him that he would overcome. When the man of God did not believe and doubted, he doubted God's word. He doubted God's, um, God's push. He doubted that God was with him. The prophetess Deborah told the man of God, God is with you. Go and conquer. Go and take the battle. The man of God was not confident. And he said, only if you go with me, prophetess Deborah, will I go. He didn't believe that God would do what God wanted to do through him. And so at that very moment, it was Deborah, the prophetess Deborah, that said to him, God is going to deliver Israel at the hands of a woman. And this woman's name was Jael. Jael lived in a tent. Her husband was a tent maker. They weren't a part of, the, of Israel and they weren't a part of the Philistines. They weren't a part of Israel and they weren't a part of the, um, of the, people, of, of the people that were against Israel. They were these people that were stuck in the middle. And I believe that this morning some of you have been stuck in the middle in some areas. You haven't decided that you would go full on for God and you haven't decided that you would go full on for the enemy. We have at our hands um, a time and a space in culture where the next generation is at risk where Generation Z, which is already coming into the earth, and the generation that's coming behind Generation Z that doesn't actually have a name yet is in danger of what this culture, this world wants to in 
wants to put on it, wants to um, to call it, wants to give it. There is we, we are sitting in the middle of a culture war with the church, with the people of God, with women of God, um, and the world. And the world wants to to give our children and to make our children and the next generations and even those that are in the earth right now wants to make us something that the enemy wants to call us. We are at a fight, we're in the fight of our lives, attempting not to take on the name of the enemy, attempting not to take on the names that he calls us, and attempting to raise our children, our nieces, our nephews, our grandchildren, our daughters, our sons, ourselves, so that we can be men and women of God. And so today I want to tell you that you are that JL. If you don't know the story of JL, if you don't, hey Sarita, how are you? If you don't know the story of Jael, the man of God who came to conquer the children of Israel, God's children, came to the tent of Jael and asked her, can I take lodge? Can I hide in your tent? Jael wasn't for the enemy and she wasn't for the children of Israel. She was a woman who was right in between. And she said, of course, come on in, lodge, you can hide here. He laid down, he went to sleep, he asked for some water to drink. Jael, this woman of God, gave the man of God milk. And we all know that milk puts anybody to sleep. Milk puts a baby to sleep. Milk puts anybody to sleep. The milk that she gave him, she insisted on giving him milk. She gave him milk, put him to sleep, and at the moment that he went to sleep, she took a tent peg, and we know that tents use large pegs. She took a tent peg, a steel tent peg, and she nailed it into the skull of the enemy. And because of her obedience to God, Israel won the war. And I'm here to tell you, women of God, that you are superheroes in this day and time. You just don't know it. You are superheroes. You are the real sheroes. And I'm here to ask you to rise up. I'm here to help you to rise up. I'm here to, to just impart to you this supernatural, amazing uh, mantle of power of authority that God has given us to walk in the earth and to call you to rise up and to not be afraid of what God has put in your mouth, to call you to rise up and to not be afraid of what God has even put in your fingers to write, to pen. Um, many of you are scribes that will lead an entire generation out of bondage. You will write books, you will you will author blogs, you will write things that will lead generations upon generations from today until Christ comes that will lead them out of bondage and back to Christ. A lot of you are not scribes, you don't write, but perhaps you are someone who's got a word in your mouth. You've got something to say that's going to change a generation, that's going to send the enemy fleeing. You've got a will, you've got some ideas, maybe you're an artist, maybe you, um, you, you're, you're, you're adept at starting businesses, whatever it is that God has put in your hands, whatever it is that you're called to, I'm here to tell you that God is with you. If you know that the calling that's on your life, the blessing that's in your hands, the 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 anointing that 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 comes over you when you begin to speak is God. If you know that that is is for the people, if you know that God wants to take it and use it for the people, if you understand that God wants to take your gift, your anointing, your calling, um, your your talents and use it to advance His kingdom. If you know this and you decide today. Today is the day that I am going to become the Shiro, the hero that he's called me to be. I beg of you, I beseech you in the name of Jesus to do it, to run after your calling, run after your gifting, run after your talent. Why? Because you're in the earth for such a time as this. This is the time, this is the season that the Lord wants to use you. There's an entire generation that's waiting for your gifting, for your talent to bring them back to the Father. Scripture says that we are to pray that the hearts of the fathers return to the hearts of the children and the hearts of the children return to the hearts of the Father. Father God, we have, entire, we have an entire generation and generations to come who are lost. They don't know what to do. They don't 
don't know where to go. They're looking for a savior. They're involved in all sorts of, of witchcraft, of new age nonsense, of just looking for God. And I believe that many of you, whether you're women, whether you're men, and I know I'm speaking to women this morning, I believe that you've got a calling on your life that God wants to use. And I really want to partner with you and become a become that prayer partner with you, become that prayer warrior with you. Just coming out of two, two and a half hours of prayer this morning, and um, just with the glory of the Lord sitting on me and, and burning and bubbling in me, I'm unable to sit, unable to rest, and just wanting to come on here and speak into the lives of some of you to tell you that the next generation needs your voice. This generation needs women that will stand up, who will, call, who will um, rally the call of Christ and will lead this generation and the generation following back to Christ. This generation needs strong women, needs women who know who they are in Christ, women who know how amazing and mighty they are in Christ, not in themselves, not because of the money that you have, not because of you know how cute you are, but because of the anointing on your life, not because you're successful in business, not, not because of anything else, but because of the anointing on your life, because of your desire to uh, do the will of the Lord and be, be as, as scripture says, willing and able. The Lord says, who is willing and able? Sometimes it's easy to find somebody who's willing, but they're not able. They've got some sort of hindrance that stops them from doing it. And then sometimes you can find those people who are able, but they are unwilling to do what God needs to have done in this season and in this time so that he can get the glory. Where are the women? I believe that the women are on this call. I believe the women are on this page. I believe the women are on the girlfriend to girlfriend page. I believe the women are on the, the, um, the, the gathering place page. I believe that the women are here. Let's gather together. Let's rally. Let's become, let's pray together. Let's become radical together to do what God has called us to do. Time is up. Time is up. The time is now. And when I say the time is now, I mean that it's time to dig in the tr dig into the trenches now. It's time to allow the spirit of God to move through you and through those connected um, to you in a way that he never has. It's time to surrender everything to Christ. It's time to do what he's called you to do. In two months, we're having a rally. We're having a rally that is going to be a women's rally. And it is, it is under the Girlfriend to Girlfriend ministry, under the Shauna D. Harrison ministry. We're having a rally and we're having it on the grounds of the Gathering Place Church. It is an outdoor rally. It is, you can, it's a rally, but it's also a summit. And it is an all-day event. We are calling women from near and far to come and pray, to come and be equipped, to come and be empowered, to come and fellowship, to come and leave empowered, to execute the will of God in the earth, in their neighborhoods, in their cities. This is in two months, in two months, in the month of November. Normally, well, last year we had the Surrendered Women's Retreat. This year we'll be having a Surrendered Women's Summit. And it will be outdoors, outside, on 14 acres of property that we own here in Orlando, Florida. And it's going to be powerful. And so I want to rally you, not just to this rally, not just to the summit, but this is a call. This is a call, as someone says, for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising of every woman under the sound of my voice, of every woman that you know near and far who's tired of the LGBTQ agenda and what it's doing to our children. This is a call and a rally um, who's tired of everyone giving uh, women the answer of go and have an abortion but not giving her answers um, and how to do anything else. I understand some people just need to have abortions. Some people are in a position where they feel like they need to have it. I was that person, but there are other answers. This is a call for women who are tired of um, our children being fed what they're fed on television. This is a call for women who are tired of this pedophilia agenda. This is a call for women, young, old, married, single, who are tired of sitting by and, and allowing things to happen that we have the power to stop. 
And so I'm going to end here, and I want to remind you, I brought this book on to remind you, as Lisa Bevere says, that you are a girl. Yes, you are a girl, but you are a girl with a sword. And that sword is the sword of the Spirit. And when you speak the word, when you speak the word of the Lord, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, when you speak the word of the Lord, you've got a sword in your mouth that is more powerful than anything, that is sharper than any two-edged sword, able to pierce even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. That is the word of God. That's your sword. And so I want you to tag somebody in this video. Hey, Donna, um, Susan, again, uh, who else is here? I'm glad you guys are, are sticking with me, but I, I really do. I really want you to stay on. Um, we are we are forming, we already have an organization called Girlfriend to Girlfriend Forum. We're forming an organization called Cry Out. This organization has actually already been in place in ministry. It's called Cry Out. And it is to combat, it is to fight, it is to pray, it is to bring deliverance, it is to bring freedom to women who are, um, who've had abortions. That was me who need deliverance from the murder and the shame and the guilt that they went through. But it's also to stop women from having them. It's also an organization that is, um, that is uh, an abolitionist organization against pedophilia. And that's not just child sex trafficking. This is also about the child in your church, the child in your family who's being abused by, by a person who's living in their home. And so we're going to bring education we're going to bring prayer we're going to bring the spirit of the living God because we can talk all day we can raise money all day but unless God's spirit is behind it and we begin to do things um, like counseling and coaching and, um, and and prayer and deliverance and fasting and doing things to help um, carry this to another level we really do just kind of shoot ourselves in the foot. And let me say this, that prayer is the undergirding thing for, for everything. Anything that's ever happened in the earth that has the stamp of God's approval on it was undergirded with prayer. Nothing can happen, nothing can be successful in the kingdom of God unless God has called prayer warriors first to undergird it and to make it the powerful, powerful thing that it becomes. Martin Luther King's uh, uh, um, career and all that he accomplished was undergirded with prayer. Everything that anyone has ever done, every revival that has ever taken place undergirded with prayer. Every, every What Billy Graham did in the earth was undergirded with prayer. Everything must be undergirded with prayer, okay? And so um, I think that's it. I just wanted to share that with you, and I want to tell you that you are the true Shiro, and I want you to rise up. I want you to partner with me. I want you to let every woman you know know that this is a call for an uprising for women of God who are tired of the enemy, tired of the enemy, tired of what he wants to do with our children, to our children, and with the next generations. We're tired of it, and we're taking it back. We're taking back everything that the enemy stole, and we're going to do it with the power of God behind us. And so I want you to tag every woman that you know in this video. Please share this video on your timeline, and um, I'm going to let you know in videos to come, and even in posts to come, please stay, pay close attention on what we're doing, how you can partner, how you can be a part, how you can volunteer, how you can start a chapter, a girlfriend to girlfriend chapter in your city, in your church, how you can start a cry out chapter in your city, in your church. This is about changing the, the culture. Um, and we know that we're not going to change the enemy's culture, but we can pierce darkness with the light that we are and change the future for the generations coming up. Because there's a remnant in the wombs of some of the women who are aborting these babies. There's a remnant for God. And I believe that the enemy wants to take out as many as he possibly can so that this remnant that God has, he can't touch the remnant. He can't touch it. He can't touch the children who are going to worship God in spirit and in truth. He can't touch them. But he's doing his best to attempt to take out. This is why abortion is at, is at an all-time high. And, and to be honest with you, we're starting to see numbers dwindle in some cities and some states. But in other cities and states, it's on the rise. And so let's undergird this with prayer. Stay tuned and stay close and stay in prayer, please, for this movement. Cry out and girlfriend to girlfriend. I thank you guys so much. It's okay, Susan. I'm, I'm done. I'm tired, Sarita. Uh, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I know there's just a lot to do. There's a lot to do, and we will do it. We will do it because God is for us. 
God is for us, no one can be against us. And so, Father, I thank you for every woman on here in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you go before us, that you lead us. Father, that we don't miss a step. Just have your way in our lives. Have your way. Have your way. Rally women from all corners of the earth to do your will. We will not back down. We will not walk in fear. And we will not be afraid. Because we are girls with swords. That is the sword of the spirit. Listen, if you haven't read this book by Lisa Bevere, you need to get it. You need to get it. Everyone should know Lisa Bevere, Lisa and John Bevere. Amazing, amazing couple. And again, this video was not about this. So if you're just jumping on, this video was not about this book. You need to watch the entire video. Watch the entire video. Okay, and I want to hear your comments. I want to see your comments in the in the um, things below. And listen, another organization to support while we are working and getting um, Cry Out up and going, another uh, another organization to support is uh, Christine Kane's A21. A21 is an amazing organization. And then another Christian organization that combats against sex trafficking, child sex trafficking, is um, um, Operation Underground Railroad. Christian organizations, Love, One, Love 146 is another one. And those are grassroots, but they are making um, a lot, they're getting a lot of traction and making um, some impact. And again, this video was not about child sex trafficking. So um, it was just, that's just a small part of the video. So I do need you to watch the entire video, watch the entire video. All right, hey Beverly, how are you? Listen, go back and watch the entire video, Beverly. Go back and watch the entire video, uh, Brittany, because uh, this is about a movement that God is, um, God is all over and he's pushing, he's pushing, 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 and you, every single one of you on here, you're a part of the movement. You're a part of the movement. If you're a woman of God, and you know that you've got a calling on your life, and you know that it's time to do something, you know that it's time to rise up, you know that it's time to do, to, to do more, you know that God is calling you to, um, to greater, it's, you're a part of this movement. You are a part of this movement. God bless you guys. I love you so much. Thank you, Donna. Keep me in prayer, as I will keep you in prayer as well. Keep you in prayer as well. Um, Community Church of God. Oh, this is Donna. Donna, Donna. I'm just, I, I, I'm just trying to figure out who you are. Um, I thought you were someone that I didn't know, but I'm glad you're on. I'm glad you're on. Share the video. Um, share the video. And um, of course, with Pastor Jeff. And we've already talked about doing a, a chapter of Girlfriend to Girlfriend there at his church. But I don't think we've talked about Cry Out. I don't think we've talked about Cry Out at all. But I know that um, Jeff and Ruth. Uh, Pastor Jeff and Lady Ruth are um, are on board. I know that they will be on board. I love you guys, and I'll talk with you later. Have an amazing day, and go somewhere, wherever you go. Some of you are going to be at home, but make some change. Make a difference and change someone's life. God bless you guys, and I'll talk with you later.